amazing. It's all part of the experience. I love. I'm literally obsessed with her. I am a huge fan of this type of bowl. Not too shabby. If, in case I didn't mention it in the title or in the thumbnail, then this video is gonna be breakfast that I ate in a week. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you get some inspiration. And yeah, I'm very hungry and you know, it's the early morning, so I'm always gonna be croaky and puffy, so you're just gonna have to excuse that, okay? Keep your opinions to yourself. I always keep my bread in the freezer so the loaf doesn't go out of date before I have a chance to get through it all. This way, we don't waste any bread. So what I'm thinking today is a French toast sandwich, but make it savory, because I prefer savory food. So, okay, so I've just defrosted two slices. I haven't toasted them though, because we're gonna fry them in the pan to get them toasty. So the batter's gonna be pretty much the same as if you were to make a sweet one, just egg, a splash of milk, but I'm gonna season it with some onion powder, a bit of garlic, and a splash of hot sauce. I'm so sorry if you can hear my cats eating in the background. They are being extremely noisy. It's like they don't realize that I'm filming. Did you know I'm filming? Oh, big heavy boy. Mm. I'm just coating both sides of the bread in this tiny, tiny little bowl. And now I'm just cooking off what's gonna be my filling. So I've just gone for mushrooms and, oh, I don't even forgot what they're called, um, onions. But it can be bloody anything, you know? While the first bit of the bread is frying, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive tapenade to this slice and a little bit of tomato paste. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. You just fry it on each side till it's nice and golden. It smells great though. Yum. I have to say the bits that are falling out. Exquisite. Mmm. I can't remember the last time I had a savory meal and I didn't add this bagel seasoning. I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I'm finished. It's no longer a TK Maxx. Anyway, this breakfast, wow. <laughs> what a sight for sore eyes. Bloody stunning. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I haven't had this in ages. Hey, Fig. You don't like mushrooms. You don't like them. Good morning. I'm honestly not sure what day it is. I think it's day two, but I'm gonna make a tail as old as time classic. If you've watched my channel, you know I make these um, oat flour bagels all the bloody time. So that's what we're gonna do today. You just need oat flour, baking powder, salt, yogurt. And that's it. That is it. Right. Hey, Bowie. We are really starting from scratch today. I'm gonna to blend my own oat flour. I normally end up using maybe three quarters of a cup. Mmm. Maybe a bit more. A little sprinkle. And then my friends, you want equal amount of yogurt to flour. So depending on how much flour you use, you want the same amount. But it's gotta be thick yogurt, yeah? No runny soy based yogurt. I mean you can. Technically, but you'll need less yogurt. So just gradually add it, I say. And you can't go wrong, in fact. I've also got a little, um, what's it called? Like a silicone baking mat so I can roll out my dough. So it's best to use either a Greek yogurt or a coconut yogurt or a plant-based Greek yogurt. Something that, you know, doesn't want to fall off a spoon, basically. I mean, technically you don't really have to add the whole, <laughs> but it's all part of the experience. Beautiful. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going in your gob anyway. And as is with anything in life, I am putting it in the air fryer. 
Something truly scandalous is happening right now. I don't have any avocados. Like not one. Not one sliver of an avocado. Not one half of an avocado lurking in the fridge. Oh, you've been in too much of this video. This is my channel. Not a single avocado. Hence, I'm making a pea hummus slash pesto. It's kind of more of a pesto than a hummus. So, it works really well and it's just as tasty. I do miss my avocado. <laughs> just a splash of olive oil, a spoonful of the good stuff, that is tahini, garlic, and an obnoxious amount of basil. I like it so it's still a little bit chunky. That is perfect. <gasps> oh my God. Yum. I don't know if you can tell, but it is super, super fluffy on the inside. And then crispy on the outside. I love. It was about 20 minutes in the air fryer. I think it was about 180. I never ever check. And then a good smothering. Right, I don't have any hemp seeds, but just imagine I'm adding some hemp seeds at the moment. Because that would be perfect. I do, however, have chili. Ooh, wow. Isn't she pretty? Which one do I have first? Mm hmm I like the pea hummus. And I always seem to have peas in the freezer, so it's like, I'll always be able to make this. Whereas I won't always have avocado. It's a great idea. And when you think, that is from absolute scratch. It only took maybe 25 minutes. Sweet potato, gonna give it a quick rinse. Slice it down the middle. And I'm gonna microwave it for about six minutes. And now I'm gonna put it straight in the air fryer to go crispy on top. This is optional, but kind of not. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, you just load it up with whatever you want. I always go for some sort of nut butter. Today, it's got to be almond. And that's probably one of the quickest and easiest breakfasts you can make. I'm literally obsessed with her. Morning! I'm thinking banana bread today, so... I make this banana bread pretty much every single week and then I just pop it in the freezer and then take it out when I want. So I'm actually going to insert a cheeky little um, reel of me making the banana bread, but it's so bloody easy. All you need is bananas, eggs. Do you know what? Just, just watch the video. <laughs> So this is the fun bit where we just turn it into a yogurt bowl. And of course I've got some melted berries. The berries, I honestly just microwave them from frozen for about 45 seconds and they go yummy. Mm. And I tend to add some sort of nut butter. This is pretty obvious at this point. You've seen these type of bowls before. But today I'm going for almond butter. This is Biona. It's actually not great. It's not the best I've had. Pollen because it makes it look gorgeous. I am a huge fan of this type of bowl, although it's kind of more of a summery meal. Anyway, I'm still gonna have them. Mm -hmm. Love. Excuse me for using my hands, but we love it. Hey, this is the final day, I think. So I'm gonna make courgette fritters, I think. I've probably made them, in fact, I definitely have made them on this channel before. Basically, I'm just gonna grate some courgette, squeeze all the moisture out of it, um, add some flour, fry it. I just always, always, always seem to have lots of bloody courgettes, so. There is probably better ways to do it, but at this moment in time, I only have a little handheld grater, so that's the story. That's what we're dealing with. Already look how much moisture is coming out. Gross! Seasonings of your choosing, of course. I'm gonna go for garlic, because obviously, and it's got a little bit of dill in here as well. 
and I'm not just saying that you have to add a lot of salt because I love salt, but because these have so much moisture in them, then the salt will help draw out all the excess moisture. So it's really necessary. So it's not only gonna make it taste better, but it's gonna make it hold its shape, okay? So yes, it is gonna be a lot. No judgment. Yeah, also featuring capers. flaxseed and finally chickpea flour okay i said finally but i actually didn't mean it because we're also gonna add a little bit of tomato puree tomato paste i will just say there's absolutely no reason for me to be using a waffle pan you can fry them in a normal pan just as easy but i might as well Too shabby. I've never had them. <laughs> Look at Bowie's legs. Oh, I've never had them in waffle form before, but I'm pretty impressed. I also made a quick tofu scramble because I needed something else with it. Hence. Oh, and guess what? Great news because I finally have bloody avocados. Is that ripe? Oh, don't say they're not ripe yet. It'll have to be. It doesn't feel great. <laughs> We're taking it. We're taking it and running with it. That's like a cafe style brunch and I'm obsessed. Obsessed? So what are we calling these? Courgette waffles and scramble. Savory zucchini waffles. Imagine if they tasted horrible. I also added a little bit of smoked paprika into the waffle batter. Oh my God. And obviously the thing is you can add any of the veggies that you fancy. So it's a great leftover meal as well. I don't know why I'm trying to convince you. I don't need to convince you. Just look, it does all the talking and that's it. Peace and love. Thank you for watching. Ah.